Hey guys, it's Stephanie, and today I'm going to be scrapbooking um, a really fun photograph of myself. My husband took this picture when we were at a bakery in San Francisco, and the look on my face is just sheer delight and just joy. I was stuffing my face with that cupcake and loving every minute of it. So I've gone ahead and pulled together some supplies from my August counterfeit kit. Um, if you're not familiar with the Counterfeit Kit Club, I will provide a link in the description below. And I've also grabbed a couple of other embellishments like this um, flare button that says The Sweet Life. This was from my Click Kit for the month of August. Um, I've got this little tag that says So Sweet. Um, this is by L Studio. And then I've pulled these stickers from Evalicious, which are available in the Skyline Papery shop. And they just say things like yum and so sweet, um, loving this, that kind of thing. And I thought that would be really fun for this particular layout. Um, I've also grabbed some Project Life journaling tags from a Maggie Holmes collection. And I'm just planning to layer those to create a background for the photo. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim down this paper. This is gorgeous pattern paper from Chic Tags and I'm not sure if you can see it in the in the video but it's actually like little sequins that's the pattern on the paper and it is so pretty. I absolutely love it. So I've gone ahead and trimmed that down and then I'm going to trim another piece of paper. Let me just pull it out here. This one, this is from a chalkboard collection from We Are Memory Keepers. And I'm going to trim this one to create just like a border, um, just a strip to go on top of that sequined paper. And if you're looking for specific names of papers, I will have all of that information on my blog. So you can just head over and see the coordinating blog post if you need more information. Um, I'm also going to just put out as a disclaimer that this layout is based on a layout by Gerilyn Sai, um, and I will also have a link to her blog and the original layout that inspired this layout on my blog. <laughs> wow, that's like a whole lot of information, but basically what I'm trying to tell you is go to my blog and check out the blog post that goes with this video if you need more information. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, I'm just sticking down those two um, pieces of pattern paper. And there's going to be a lot of white space on this layout. Um, I really want the photo to just kind of jump off the page. So I am leaving that whole bottom half of the 12 by 12 sheet. I'm just going to leave that white. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, beautiful pattern paper here from Crate Paper. I love the background, the sequin pattern, but I think it's a little too busy for this page. So I'm going to use these pink and coral waves instead. I'm just going to trim that into a small square. And I'm going to use this piece of um, pink paper as a mounting block for my photograph. And this photo, just in case you're wondering, is printed in 4x4 four four size. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out these Project Life journaling tags. And I've just grabbed four randomly from the kit. Um, there were like dozens and dozens in the kit. And I just pulled out four that I thought were pretty. And I'm just going to use these to layer, um, to create a layered background for that photo. And if you don't have Project Life journaling tags, you can definitely just use, you know, scraps of paper, scraps of pattern paper to create this effect. Um, but if you do have Project Life journaling tags, then it's a great way to put them to use. I actually don't do Project Life, but I love to buy the box sets of tags just for this particular reason. Um, here I have a sheet of label stickers. This is from October Afternoon. And I'm just going to stuff some labels underneath those journaling tags. Oops. I just want to have the, the labels peeking out. Um, again, this is just to create kind of a look of layers and texture. Um, well, not texture, I guess, but <laughs> just layers. Um, I really want 
this to be a cluster of layers right in the center of the page here. So that's what we're doing. We're just grabbing some random label stickers and sticking those underneath. And I'll put this one up in the corner here. And I think I'm going to add one more at the bottom, just because that little open space there in the corner is not, um, it just looks a little harsh. It's not really blending with the nice rounded edges um, of everything else that's around that photo. So I think one more label in the corner is going to be perfect. And apparently, I'm not going to do it just yet. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I, I promise I do put um, another label in the bottom. But what I'm doing here is I'm just mounting my photo onto a piece of gold foil pattern paper, again from Chic Tags. Their papers are just stunning. If you do not have any Chic Tag stuff in your collection, you definitely should head out to your local scrapbook store and get some because it's so pretty. Um, so here I'm just adding this gold foil paper underneath and I'm just going to have it poking out, peeking out from beneath the photo. Um, I don't want too much gold, not too much bling, but I do want a little bit just to add kind of a, you know, girly, whimsical look to it. So I'm just placing that there and I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, that now I will go ahead and add another tag. This is the problem of doing um, voiceovers instead of just speaking while you scrapbook is that sometimes you forget the order that you do things. But I was right. Okay, great. I am putting another label underneath. And I believe those labels are from the Travel Girl collection from October Afternoon, um, but I'll have to double check that and I will mention it in the blog post. So. Again, head over to my blog if you need any more information about this particular layout. I've just added in the um, little circle tag there from L Studio that says So Sweet, and the flare button that says The Sweet Life. I basically pulled all the supplies in my stash that had anything to do with food, um, and this is what I've decided to work with. So now we're going to stick the photo on top of all those layers. Just stick that down there. And I'm going to grab some glue dots and just add in that flare button. Now I'm not sure if I mentioned this um, earlier in the video, I can't remember, but that flare badge that says The Sweet Life is an exclusive flare badge for um, the Click Kits, which is a kit monthly kit club that I'm subscribed to. Um, it was part of their August kit, so if you are interested, I believe there's still some in stock. You can head over to Click Kits and check out the, um, the website and order a kit if you want. I'll provide a link below. And I've just zoomed in here so that you can get a better sense of what I'm doing. So I've, I've taken these stickers from Evalicious, which are available in my store, the Skyline Papery Shop. And I'm just going to start, you know, randomly placing them in the top right-hand corner of the photo. So that one that I've just put down says yum. Um, I'm going to put another one here that says I like this or I love this actually, I think is what it says. And these are just really, really cute little conversation bubbles and they're puffy. They're um, puffy stickers, so they've got that 3D dimensional look to them. They pop right off the page. Just really, really fun to work with. I also have travel themed ones in case you're interested in those. And I'm just randomly layering them um, just all around that corner there. And I definitely want a heart on this layout because obviously I am loving the cupcake and loving the moment <laughs> of eating the cupcake. So I've grabbed this gold heart from um, Heidi Swap and I'm just playing around, seeing if I wanna add another one. Um, I have 
a slightly bigger heart here. But I think that smaller one really does the trick. I'm just comparing it with this wood grain heart. But I think that one's just a little too small. And I like the pop of gold that the Heidi Swap heart adds to the layout. And I'm really sorry <laughs> if you're having trouble um, hearing me or if my voice sounds funny. Um, I'm completely parched and I'm also starving. <laughs> so if you hear my stomach growling, don't, you know, be concerned. It's just because I'm hungry. It's uh, 5 o'clock here and... My husband just ran out to get a couple of groceries that we need to finish dinner and then I'm going to start cooking. So I'm just starving and I'm really thirsty. <laughs> so I apologize if I sound really hoarse and yeah. Um, okay, anyways, back to the layout. I have these enamel dots from my mind's eye. These are from the Ashbury Heights collection. And I'm just going to randomly scatter these across the page. Um, I'm really not trying to think too much about where I put them. I don't want them to look too, you know, organized or too planned out. Just want them to be a sprinkling of enamel dots. Um, enamel dots are just such a great way to add kind of a whimsical, fun, festive flair to your layouts and because this is such a fun little page about something that was really really enjoyable I just thought it would be cute to have some enamel dots um, just randomly dispersed throughout the, the layout so that's what I'm doing here trying to to keep them in corners but like I said trying not to think too hard about it and not to get over you know not to over analyze where I put things I just want it to feel very natural and very um, random. All right, so the only thing left now is to do a title. And originally I was going to do something like Caught in the Act or Caught Red-Handed. But I think that the, the photo kind of speaks for itself. I mean, if you, my husband caught the picture right at the perfect moment. You can tell by the look on my face that I am just like stuffing my face and I don't care. <laughs> so in the end, I decided that a more, um, a simple title would do the trick. A simple title would be just fine. So I'm actually going to call this hashtag cupcake. Um, Cupcake, obviously, because that's what I'm eating. I was eating an amazing chocolate cupcake from Miette Bakery. Um, and the hashtag is just because this was an Instagram photo. So I just think that the hashtag kind of captures that it was an everyday photo, a photo that was taken on the go. Um, and I just think it looks cute. And with that, my layout is complete. It took me about 25 minutes total to make this layout, to put it all together. And I really, really like it. Um, I love that there's space here that I could put journaling if I wanted to. Um, but I think I'm just going to leave it like, a, like it is. I think that, you know, everything is pretty self-explanatory. And I don't think that journaling is really necessary. I think my face kind of tells the whole story here. So this is the final product. Um, this is what the layout looks like now that it's complete. I hope that you enjoyed this process video. And like I said, if you need more information or want um, updated, not updated, but close-up shots, just visit my blog. The blog is skylinepapery.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.